Imagine the perfect summer day. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and it's perfect swimming weather. But instead of all of that, you have a pop quiz. What? Year-round school. Three words that kids hate and even parents hate it too. Welcome to class, and today we will be learning why year-round school is a bad option for us kids and parents. First off in science, we will be doing an experiment looking at the mental health effect of kids involved in year-round school. Next in English, we will be reading a book that is filled with a whole bunch of summer activities kids could miss out on if they were involved in year-round school. And lastly, in math, we will be looking at some charts and talk about how not only year-round school is, uh, is bad for kids, but it is also very stressful for parents. Welcome to science class. First, safety glasses on. Today, we will be doing an experiment. Now, we are all students here. We know the stress that comes with school. It can take a toll on you. Homework, finals, tests, you're missing that assignment, you're missing this assignment, you failed that. Oh, and I need a 10-page essay due by Friday. It's a lot. Well, imagine still having that stress in July. To, let's get started on this experiment. We will be looking at the mental health of kids in traditional school versus year-round school. According to thecapitalgazette.com, summer break gives kids a chance to think outside of the box. Kids can play and interact with one another, and scientists say that if summer break is used correctly, kids show a happier and more creative behavior. This is different from sitting in a building all day listening to lectures. It leaves kids unmotivated and tired. Now, some people may disagree with me. Some say that the short breaks that come in year-round school, the short breaks throughout the year, can reduce just as much stress as summer break and maybe even more. But I disagree. Also, those short breaks cause kids to slip from what they are learning. Imagine having 15 days off right before finals. I don't think those grades would turn out that well. Okay, safety glasses off. Science class is over. Now, take out your books for English. Today we will be reading Big Book of Summer Activities. Let's open it up. First we have a little boy and a little girl. The little boy is playing baseball and the little girl is playing softball. How cute. Next, we have a brother and a sister playing tennis, bonding, and having fun. Oh, look, swim lessons. It is important to learn how to swim. And lastly, we have kids sitting by a campfire, telling silly, scary stories, roasting marshmallows, and making memories and friends that will last a lifetime. All of this could be missed out on if they were attending year-round school. Don't even get me started on, on the national championships that take place throughout July and August. There's championships for things like volleyball, soccer, and even dance, and many more. These kids spend all summer working hard to achieve these championships. According to, Care or according to Pediatric Center of RoundRock.com, summertime gives shy kids a chance to open up and become comfortable with their peers. It also gives fair athletes a chance to improve their skills and become better at what they are competing in. And lastly, it encourages kids to become involved, which will later lead them to want to become involved in their middle school, high school, and college activities. I don't know about you guys, but if I attended year-round school, I wouldn't be headed to the Netherlands in the summer of 2022 for a world championship for baton twirling. Summer break gives these kids a chance to gain experiences that they could not gain at a desk. Okay, what a good book. Now school will be dismissed soon, so let's do a quick math lesson. Let's take a look at these charts. Now we have talked about today how year-round school affects kids, but it also affects parents and families in a major way. According to care.com, not only does year-round school affect the normal summer family fun act vacations, but it also affects uh, who will watch your child. Taking a look at these charts, we have the traditional year-round school calendar where you only get about 15 days off throughout the year, including summer break. Whereas in the year-round school one, you get only 30 days off in the summer and then 15 days off three times a year throughout the school year. Now, if your child care provider follows traditional school schedule, you are out of luck. And it would be difficult to find someone to watch your child in the spring because uh, you would get 15 days off, whereas the normal worker and parent only gets about three to five days off in the spring. Okay, the bell is about to ring, so quickly let's go over what we've learned today. First, in science, we did an experiment that showed the mental health effect on kids who are involved in year-round school. And, last, and then we took a look at the big summer book of activities that kids 
could miss out on if they were involved in your own school, let alone all the memories that they would miss out on as well. And lastly, we talked about how only that not only your own school affects kids, but it also affects family members and parents. Now, I hope you all learned something today, and I hope you all had a great day at school. And surprise, you all get an A on the pop quiz. Thank you, and school dismissed.